good morning students i am mrs s rajeshwari associate professor of economics adm college for women nagapattinam today's topic is euro dollar market topics to be covered first introduction meaning origin features functions role of euro dollar market adverse effects euro currency market and developing countries let us discuss one by one first introduction euro currency termed as currency used for financial transactions outside the country of its origin next it has the same exchange value as any us dollar has in terms of other currencies americans for example american citizen deposits lends funds with an american bank in london it is euro deposits or lending next uh, when the same transaction is conducted in us it will not be a euro transaction okay next uh, meaning the term euro dollar refers to us dollar deposit at foreign banks or at the overseas branches at the american banks euro dollar market originally developed after world war 2 in europe next what does euro mean the term eur is the currency code used in the general industry to represent the euro it is the official currency for 19 of the 28 members of the european nation okay next uh, what is the symbol of euro the symbol euro that is like e it is based on the greek letter epsilon the first letter in the word euro and with two parallel lines signifying stability okay next uh, examples for euro currency countries so these are all the example uh, first germany italy france spain portugal greece netherland austria belgium finland slovakia and uh, ludhiana <coughs> next uh, growth of euro dollar market see during uh, 1960s and 70s the euro currency market experienced at a very rapid growth first one first important factor advantage of london market see so this what uh, that is large volume of transactions for example the london money market enjoyed the locational advantage on account of greater proximity to some prominent customer okay next one the flow of economic and military yeah it is nothing but us emerged as a very powerful nation offering economic aid and military aid to other nations of the world for purpose of rehabilitation of the protection this leads to what large scale inflow of dollar to the western european countries okay next one cold war between us and ussr see after the second world war the several causes between us and communist blocs led by ussr and european countries next one decline in uh, im- decline in the importance of sterling this the post war period britain became a debtor country and a dominant position held by pound sterling fell automatically the yielding a place to dollar the Br- british exchange control act aggravated the situation as a result the position of dollar got, got reinforced in the european financial centers next one regulation of uh, the currencies or the federal reserve system see it is one of the important factor which gave impetus to the euro dollar market in 1960s next one uh, that is what uh, other us measures see it include 
During 1960s, there were several other measures of restrictions by the United States. It stimulated the banking operations in Britain and other Western European countries. Next, uh, uh, US, uh, that is US internal monetary controls. US internal monetary controls. In 1969, US adapted a tight money policy to contain the inflationary conditions. In this situation, the US banks started borrowing heavily in the euro dollar market through their overseas branches with the objects of satisfying the liquidity requirements of their customers. Next one, BOP deficit in US. See, adding to all these causes, there had been large and persistent BOP deficit in US, thereby it lead to the outflow of US dollar to the Euro banks in countries having surplus with it. Next, petro dollars. See, it is, now, it is means the increase in the price, oil prices since 1973 resulted in the tremendous increases in the incomes of oil producing countries of the world. See, these incomes or that incomes are known as petro dollars. Next, uh, functions. See, the main functions of this euro dollar, it is transferring short term uh, funds to medium term funds from one country to another country. Next important function, euro currency deposits and loans expand whenever funds flow into the euro banks as deposits from commercial bank or residents of the United States. Another function, transfers by commercial banks or residents or other countries. And another one, central banks either directly or through the bank for international settlement and the use of multi-currency clause. See, if the use of multi-currency clause, it is to avoid the risk of loss resulting from the exchange rate of fluctuations. A multi-currency clause, it is uh, incorporated in many loan agreements. Next, no facilities to withdraw deposits through what uh, checks see that means it does not however it matter of much because it is relatively short maturities of most euro currency deposits next role of euro dollar market in international financial system the first one the euro banks have full liberty to, to decide things and facilitates surpluses and uh, deficits Countries having deficit BOP, that means balance of payment, borrow funds from the euro dollar market and lightening uh, the uh, pressure on their foreign exchange reserves. That is the main role of euro dollar market in international financial system. Next, uh, what are the merits or benefits or positive effects? See the first one, helped in easing the global liquidity problems. It is the first one. It has greatly increased international capital mobility and has helped in the financial or global liquidity problems. Next, uh, helped in financing BOP deficit and surplus of the country. Second one. And third one, recycling funds generated through steep raise in petroleum prices. Next, uh, important merits, uh, controlling the international capital movement and provider better investment opportunities. That is, uh, that is the main objectives or uh, that is benefits or positive effects of controlling international capital movement. The currency, euro currency market can render useful assistance. Next, uh, uh, adverse effects or demerits. See, the important adverse effect of euro marketing is that it may offset the monetary policy of a country. And second one, it not protected uh, the trade barriers and the exchange control. Next one, raised the uh, money supply. That is because euro dollar market does not operate under the regulation of any monetary authority. And euro currency banks command enormous amount of liquid resources. It, these resources are used for speculative capital movements. 
and uh, another one uh, euro dollar market face higher risks particularly during run the bank and for many countries it is a new concept euro it is a new concept and affects the international monetary system so it almost surely raised the world money supply and uh, it is expressed in dollar equivalents that means and it has made the world a price level that the price level expressed in dollar equivalents highest or uh, higher than otherwise it would be cleared next uh, uh, features of uh, what uh, that is features of euro dollar market the main features international market it is a that means the euro dollar market is an international market it accepts deposits in dollars and other currencies from throughout the world and gives credit next uh, independent market it operate every item uh, function in a independent market next one uh, that is short term money market or short term interbank market see largest segment of this market is the interbank market essentially short term in nature it means the more than 75% of the foreign currency liabilities and assets of the reporting european banks are against other banks and a wholesale market see wholesale market means that is essentially the transactions include on the one hand and large banks having extensive international operations and on the other hand the government's large government agencies or private corporations an account of the extensive scale of operation the overhead expense of euro banks are very low next highly competitive market that means it does not restrict any entry for newcomers in the market and the margin between the interest rate on deposits and loans has rendered to de declined so the euro currency banks have to remain content with lower rates of return on euro currency assets than the rate of return on domestic currency assets in national market next one uh, that is Uh, distinct from the domestic money market see it is a euro currency market is similar to the domestic money market it is a significant different from other from the later so the euro banks have no central monetary authority and they are free from central monetary and exchange restrictions next one uh, that is interbank or use of syndicating techniques see uh, in order to spread the default risk it is generally inherent in large scale loans so the euro banks have increased resort to the technique of syndicating the medium term loans extended and uh, um, the interbank market so the common characteristics of all the methods it is syndicating a loan to involve a large number of participating banks it lead to bank managing the loan through this method the euro dollar market or euro dollar currency market many small and medium size banks which would find it difficult to extend loan singly that is it can operate in the market so it is the independent market some and uh, the factors have encouraged many banks to join in the Uh, in a consortia so the euro banks especially it is typically place limits on the amount of outstanding advances which they will extend to any single borrower and the borrowers in any single country in order to limit the default risk so the syndicate credit market developed during the 90s uh, and 60s it is uh, it was a major factor in facilitating the access of developing countries to euro currency funds okay these are all the uh, role functions merits and demerits and euro country currency examples and uh, meaning and the symbol of the uh, euro currency or euro dollar market thank you